Hey YouTube, so I got another video on the Franken Quest 2. Uh, this is a couple additional mods. Uh, one thing that I did do, if you refer to my previous video on putting the Vibe Deluxe Audio Strap on the Quest 2, I had a metal D-ring here. What I switched to is a plastic, uh, it's like a buckle strap that I removed from a DJI Mavic Pro case that I do not use, the one that comes with the drone. Um, and I used, used this plastic H piece from there. Um, really simple to change out from the D-ring that I had on there. The second thing that I wanna do is, a while back when I had this on the Quest 1, that's what I'm gonna call the original Quest, the Quest 1, I noticed there's a wire management clip here which works with the vibe i guess there's cable plugins on this side however on the quest it's here my reason for doing this is for the link cable now virtual panda did a video on battery mods how to attach a battery to the back here uh, several different ways really good video I will link the video in the description down below um, if you're looking to get extra play time out of this I highly recommend you go and check out his video uh, I'd give him a subscription too and a thumbs up because his videos are really good so uh, in order to move this there are three screws uh, let me see let me get this out of the way there we go there are three screws back behind here. Now I thought all three screws were for holding this, but then once I got a better look at it, um, and Virtual Panda also mentioned it in his video, um, the center screw is for adjusting the tension on the headphones. Now, these are not Phillips screws. These are Torx bits and they're T5s. So you're gonna need something like, a, I have a laptop kit that I use it's a very small T5. So what I'm simply gonna do, hoping, hoping there's no springs or anything gonna pop out of here, I'm going to remove these screws. So we'll start off with this one. They are very small. And I'm hoping it doesn't fall apart, so we're gonna find out together. And that comes right off. So there's the clip. So now I'm going to move that. This just peels off like so. I know I'll get my hands in the way. I'm going to take the two screws out of here. Let's see if I can get the camera a little closer. Get the lighting a little better. So these come out really easy. Okay, that's a good sign. Nothing has happened. So one other thing you'll have to do is peel the two little Velcro strips off here before you put the uh, wire bracket on here and move them to the other side or else there's nothing for this to stick to, to Velcro to on this side because uh, there is no Velcro underneath of where I took that off. So it looks like these will peel off pretty easy. They seem to stay sticky. And I'm just going to put them back over here on this side, like so. Same thing with the bottom one. 
hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I know it's probably not perfect, but it's just little stick-on Velcro strips. Then we want to put the short screws because there's too long and too short. We want to put the short screws back in on this side. So I wish I had a third hand. short screw and then this should yep so now that sticks like it should And this side, see if I can get this to stay out of the way. There we go. So then this side, we are going to put the bracket like so with the long screws. There's the second one. Just snug, they don't need to be super tight. And then I guess it's optional. As you can see here, there's a cutout here for where that bracket was in the foam. There isn't here. You could just take a pair of scissors and kind of trim that out. Um, I don't think it's gonna matter one way or the other. But uh, there we go. So now we should be able to plug this guy in here, bring this up, clip it in there, and that keeps it out of your way, not hanging off the side of your face, gets it more towards the back. May need to add another piece of Velcro here just to get it more centered in the back. It'd be nice if I could get another clip right here. But anyway, that's it. That's uh, what I wanted to show you. So it is simple to move this from one side to the other. Um, but like I said, you're going to need a, a T5 Torx, very small. Um, this came out of um, a kit that I have here that I got off of Amazon, which is just a, a, for upgrading laptops. And that's this has all the nice small bits in it. You can find these on Amazon. Again, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.